This was the easiest sewing DIY I've ever done. Hey friends, what's up? And welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new to my channel, then welcome. My name is Stephanie and on this channel, I do everything from thrifting to DIYs to home decor to fashion. So if you wanna hang out with me every single Friday, then make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button right now. Today's video is gonna be something super different. I've never done this one before and I'm real nervous, not gonna lie. I'm gonna be taking some old, tired thrift store clothes and turning them into something cute and trendy. Your girl took out her sewing machine after six years and yeah, we're gonna get real serious today. I'm gonna make a disclaimer right now, it's not gonna be perfection, but you know what? We don't aim for perfect on this channel. We aim for having fun and seeing where our creativity takes us. These DIYs seem pretty simple, so I'm hoping that that's the direction that it's gonna go. This is my bag of thrift finds that I have been wanting to do thrift flips for. There's three items in here. There is a pair of jeans, a dress, and a sweater top. They've all been washed, they've been sitting for weeks, and they are ready to be revamped. I'm super nervous, super anxious, but I'm super excited to dive in. So if you guys wanna see how these items turn out, then make sure you watch to the very end, and let's go ahead and get on into today's video. This is the first item that I am going to be flipping. This was a long sweater, the size of it's like an extra large, but I just couldn't leave it because I absolutely loved the patchwork and quilting that was on it. All of that's gonna stay. I already went ahead and cropped it because I do want the sweater to be cropped, but my thought process was I could take one step further and make it even cuter. I have all of this extra elastic that I used for another project and I didn't wanna go to waste. So I'm gonna be taking elastic and we are are gonna make this look like a crop sweater, but just have it to where it's always gonna be cropped so I don't have to tuck it into jeans. I forgot how heavy sewing machines are. First thing you're gonna need is a sewing machine. You can do it by hand if you want. It's gonna take a long time, but if you don't have a sewing machine, then hand sewing will be just as great. So the other three supplies that you're gonna need are pins. I'm so unprepared for this video that I don't have pins, but I do have these extra sewing needles. Those will be totally fine. You're gonna need a safety pin, and then you're just gonna need some elastic. So whatever item you wanna do this with, what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna flip it inside out. Once your item is inside out, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the edges and you're actually gonna fold them. I like to give myself plenty of room because we're actually gonna be sewing the very top part and you will see why in a minute. What it's basically gonna do is gonna give the elastic room so we can thread it through. I'm then gonna take pins and I'm gonna start pinning this so we have a nice even hem. I found it easier to just pin the whole circumference just because it'll keep it in place when you're going through with the machine. It made it so much easier and I'm just stopping and pulling out each pin as I'm sewing. So yeah, it's looking good so far. So I just finished sewing almost around the entire thing. You do wanna leave a little gap because this is how you're going to string through the elastic. In order to measure the elastic, you're just gonna wrap it around where you really want it to hit on your waist. So you're gonna take the elastic and you are gonna wrap it and you're gonna be pulling on it just a little bit. So what I'll do now is I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna just leave a little bit of give. I actually went ahead and cut my elastic a little bit thinner because that one that I had was just way too thick. So this is where your safety pin is gonna come into play. I'm literally going to just put it through the end, just like that. Now all I'm gonna do is take the end of the safety pin and I'm just gonna put it through that opening that we left and we're just gonna scrunch until the safety pin comes out on the other side. So now you have both pieces that went all the way around the sweater. So now what I'm gonna do is I am just gonna go and sew these two pieces really quick and then I will show you what to do next. All I'm doing here is I am just making sure that the seams are secure and I'm just closing up that little gap that I made to pull the elastic through. 
Now you can start to see that scrunch effect that I am going for. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this inside out. Boom, look at that. We got a scrunched top. I'm just gonna say I am freaking proud of myself. It looks so good. This was the easiest sewing DIY I've ever done in my life. Moving on to the next one. This DIY is going to be super easy, but I wanted to show you guys kind of the steps that you need to find the right denim and to cut them. I liked how these were really roomy and baggy. I'm not going to cut them short. I actually want them a little bit longer. So they're a little bit more of a relaxed fit. Everywhere else, they fit really great. I love the pockets, but this is not cute. So I'm cutting jeans I take my scissors and I make an imaginary line and I go over that line and I cut them and once I'm done with that I fold them over to match the other side of the jeans this way it's even on both sides when I wear them so once I'm done cutting the other side I actually lay the shorts flat and I go through each area to make sure that it's even and after that you have a good pair of shorts all right, the shorts are now cut to the length that I want them. It's really important because when you find jeans you wanna cut, you have to make sure that it is true denim and not the stretch. So that way it's gonna be easier to start distressing. So as you can see, the spraying is already starting to happen. So I'm just gonna go around and do this and then I'll show you what I do after to get the distressed bottom. All I did here was wet the bottom of the shorts and threw them in the dryer for 30 minutes and you'll get a free look. So this is gonna be a hard pass. I I picked this dress up because I really liked the buttons in it. I saw potential in the sleeves. There are shoulder pads, but I figured that I would leave the shoulder pads in just because it has that trendier aspect. But I want to cut right underneath here and I want to kind of make it into like a little tie top and maybe cut the sleeves. I don't know. This dress is more of an experiment, so let's see what happens. <laughs> cutting off that bottom but now the edges are just very like wonky so i lied and we're gonna go back to the sewing machine i'm assuming that i'm gonna be doing the same thing to get the hem that's what i'm gonna assume so i'm gonna start doing that and then i'll see how that goes and if i'm brave enough i will try the sleeves I'm pretty much doing the same thing that I did with this sweater, except this time you don't have to turn it inside out and you're actually gonna fold underneath. So that way when you go to do the seam and the hem, it's gonna be a nice clean finish and all of the edges will be even and there'll be no fraying and you will have the perfect crop top. That already looks 10 times better. So I'm gonna go cut the other side now. All three pieces are done and I must say I am obsessed with all of them. So now I'm super excited to style them. So let's see how I style the first look. I'm so happy how this sweater crop top turned out. It's like perfect for a transition for summer to fall. And I just love the color and the way it looks with high waisted jeans. So I will be living in this for sure. This is exactly what I was picturing for this top and I love that it's a perfect length that I can wear with my high-waisted jeans, tuck it in with a belt. It's so summery and I can also transition it and I'm obsessed. I am so happy that I finally have a pair of shorts that are super comfy and I liked the more cuffed look that I did. They're super cute tucked in with a high-waisted belt and I will be living in these for summer. Guys, I am legit proud of myself. The tops and the shorts turned out so cute. So I finally have a pair of shorts for summer that I'm literally gonna live in all the time. And then I just have these two tops that I can transition into fall and I'm just so excited. So now every time I go thrifting, I will definitely be keeping an eye on things that I can thrift flip because there will be more of these videos in the future. I wanna say the biggest transformation that I absolutely loved was the dress to the top that I cropped and also cut the sleeves off. I'm so excited to wear that all throughout summer and then transition it into fall because it's still like summery but also has some really cool fall colors. So that is why if you go to the thrift store and you see something that you think that you can recreate, please get it please buy it. It's something that you'll be so proud of. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below letting me know which item you love the best and which items you are actually going to try. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, then make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button right down below so that way you will not miss anything I post every single Friday on this channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!